Okay, first things first. I am in the hotel room and we are going to get breakfast and after we go and check out the city. I arrived to Casablanca yesterday evening. I am going to show you the view. This down here is the train station. That is the port and the ocean and this is how you get to the town. way to the park and I'm passing this square which is the Mohammed V square and it was named after the grandfather of the current king. This square is also known because of pigeons. And like there is this uh, really interesting thing because uh, here in Morocco very often you are going to see like three types of uh, writings on administrative buildings and the first one is uh, usually French, the second one is Arabic and then there is like the third, the really funny one. The first one is French, right? Then this very funny, beautiful writing is uh, Amazigh, it's a Berber language and the last one is uh, Arabic. So it's really interesting, right? Because you are going to find a lot of French when you come to Morocco and that's because Morocco belonged under the French for several years and uh, they still widely use French as a language. Like even if you go to the restaurant, they don't give you a menu in English, but they give you a menu in French. And most of the people speak French. It's like a language of, uh, you know, economy and diplomacy. And also you are going to find like um, cathedrals and uh, several of those were built when the French were here. So just to have like a rough idea which period are we talking about, the French were here in the 20th century, it was from like 1912 until 1956. Okay, I love parks, so first we are going to check out the Arabic League Park. This is like one of the oldest parks in the town. This is the place where you can find a little bit of uh, shade in Casablanca and the park itself is super nice it's super green and they are like always taking uh, care of it and trimming trees and there is a fountain also here from the park you can see one of the cathedrals uh, which you can find in Casablanca. This cathedral in Casablanca, built in an Art Deco style, is a former Roman Catholic church which was built in the 1930s by a French architect. If you look at the front facade, it appears as if it were made up of two tall minarets, and the cathedral exemplifies the great idea of linking Christian sanctuary, but at the same time inspired by Islamic architecture. So anyway, Morocco is a kingdom, right? So they have their own king, which is Mohammed VI, and he is staying in Rabat. The father of the current king was Hassan II, and there is this very important architectural piece of the Islamic world here in uh, Casablanca, which is the mosque of uh, Hassan II. Okay, this square here in Casablanca is super interesting place because back here you can see the mosque of Hassan II. Then like back there, it's like a super modern part. And if you look to the other side of the street, that's like all broken houses.
When it comes to Casablanca, there are not so many like historical landmarks to see. What made Casablanca famous was the movie Casablanca. I think this is the reason why most of the people want to come to Casablanca. By the way, it is the biggest city here in uh, Morocco and it's super important for economy, you know, and all the bigger factories are located either in Casablanca or around uh, Casablanca. I believe these residences have to be one of the most expensive in all Casablanca because you have like a view to the mosque and also the ocean. I mean, pretty cool place. Everybody's been telling me that uh, Casablanca is not so nice, but I really like the vibe of the city. Welcome to Morocco! The mosque of Hassan II is one of the largest mosques in the world. Its 210 meter high minaret is a bit different from what we might know from the Balkans or Turkey because here in Morocco we have a representation of Western Islam where such square minarets are typical. The mosque was built in just six years and it officially opened in 1993. A part of the mosque is situated directly over the Atlantic Ocean and was inspired by a verse from the Quran which says God's throne was built over the water. The mosque has a capacity of 25,000 worshippers inside and the courtyard can accommodate another 80,000 worshippers. If you look at the ceiling in the center of the mosque, you will see the roof as if divided into two parts. This is because the roof can be opened in less than five minutes. But where the top is, where the top is, the top is what?